you heard the rumor that uh, now that Joey Ryan's off social media, that he's actually been hiding out under Cody Rhodes's desk at the AEW <laughs> offices. <laughs> I never heard that rumor, but I did hear that Tony Khan, so maybe he knew something, that he never wanted to hire Joey Ryan. He didn't like him. He didn't like what he was about. So it makes me wonder if he knew about Joey Ryan's history or if he just didn't like him as a person. Because I always heard that all the guys in the elite wanted Joey Ryan. They loved Joey Ryan. But Tony Khan did not like him and did not want to hire him. said unhirable for TV and would not fit on TNT. Yeah, that's the one thing that I, I do have a hard time believing because you've been around wrestlers and wrestlers, I don't know, they're, a lot of them don't hide a lot and will be pretty open with fellow wrestlers about what they do, bad, as bad as some of it might be, some of it's terrible. So I would find it hard to believe that all of these close friends of his didn't really know that there is – any truth to whatever it is, 17 plus ac accusations, because some wrestlers have told me some really bad stuff that they've done. I feel like his friends knew. I mean, they, they had to have known uh, 17 women or whatever it was with Joey Ryan. I mean, people knew, and now they're like disconnected from him and they're not friends anymore because it got leaked out. But I definitely think people had to have known and just kept it quiet, unfortunately, which is sad. Yeah, I mean, what I what bothered me about him above all that other stuff, as I haven't really researched it too much, because uh, I'm trying to stay away from that. But at WrestleCon, charging fans like fifty dollars to take a picture grabbing your dick, it's like that is pornography. That's prostitution. Like, what does that have to do with wrestling? That keep that in the back alleys. Yeah. Definitely a trash element, stupid element. Never liked the gimmick, thought it was ridiculous. And now it looks like he was doing that to get his rocks off. You know what I mean? Like he was just doing that because he wanted them because he's, he's like a sick pervert freak. So it seems like that was all a stupid gimmick to, so he can get his jollies. Well, one thing I hope that uh, the ladies of the wrestling industry and even the men, Keith Lee, someone apparently Keith Lee claimed somebody attempted to rape him. Uh, so, Which is yeah. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I remember in the old days, like a wrestler, a male wrestler getting raped by a female uh, would not be something that one of the male wrestlers would be crying about. But, but for the for those ladies' accusations and some of the more serious accusations, like there has been some uh, weird stuff that's gone on over the years with both men and women. They should go to the authorities and like have it dealt with right away. Yep. Good that you're exposing some of them, but please, if you if you go to the authorities right away, they won't be able to come back. Joey Ryan, people might forget about this in two years, and we might see him back because I don't know if anyone's actually pressing any real charges against him, unfortunately. Yeah, definitely, because you don't want it to happen. I mean, it's sad enough it happened. You don't want it to happen to somebody else. So if this is real and legit and those claims are real, you got to go to the police and, and stop these guys now. I know you may be scared or something, but you will help prevent anything else from the future. Because if Joey Ryan did do that to 17 girls, and that is true, you know, somebody in there could have kind of stepped up. And I know it's scary and everything else, but you got to somehow, you know, you know, not not let him be the, you know, the – psychopath uh, that he is you know you get you pervert that he is you got to stop him dead on the tracks and definitely get uh, you know get in touch with uh, law enforcement for sure and richard Mins brings up this point that ken shamrock must have been paid a lot to do that from from ryan that was another thing that kind of pissed me off about impact that they have like the legitimate ufc hall of famer ken shamrock but meanwhile, at the same time, Tessa Blanchard's the men champion, and they have Shamrock taking dip, dick flips from Joey Ryan. So I hope you're right. I do like Luke Gallows. I hope you're right mm -hmm. that they turn them around. And they have been shady with some things in the past, hopefully, that uh, they can get their act together. But, yeah, what did, what did you think about Ken Shamrock taking that move on impact? 
Absolutely hated it. So dumb. And especially someone of his stature and, you know, being a UFC legend, being an MMA icon, being, you know, a godfather of MMA and really being a pro wrestling legend too. Just love Shamrock. Huge fan name. He's, he was awesome. That was just so stupid. They definitely must have paid him extra or something for that because that is just absolutely ridiculous. Hated it. And I'm glad Joey Ryan's got from into impact because he added nothing to that show or that roster. I heard that Shamrock lost a lot of money on his bare knuckle fight promotion too. So that may have been one of the reasons why he mm -hmm. ended up fighting with impact. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.